Chapter 19 of Jetta of the Lowlands by Ray Cummings. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Episode of the Lowlands. There is but little remaining for me to record. I could not operate the mechanism of invisibility of De Beers' X Flyer, but its pilot controls were simple. With Jetta at my side, trembling now that our gruesome task was over, we groped our way through the green darkness and mounted to the pilot cubby, and within ten minutes I had lowered the ship into the depths, found the landing place upon the dark rocks, and brought us down. Hanley's wasp had landed. We saw its lights half a mile from us, and then the lights of another ship, an ex-flyer, convoying Hanley, slowly materializing nearby. And then the reunion. Jetta and I left De Beer's invisible vessel and clambered over the rocks, and presently Hanley, staring at our grotesque black forms, came rushing forward and greeted us. We were an hour locating De Beer's flyer, for all that Jetta and I had just left it and thought we could find our way back. But we stumbled onto it at last. Hanley felt his way aboard and brought it to visibility. It has since been returned to the anti-war department with the compliments of Hanley's office. The ransom money was restored to its proper source. Spawn's treasure of radiumized quicksilver we shipped back to Narita, where it was checked and divided, and Jetta's share legally awarded to her. De Beer was dead when Hanley found him that night on the rocks. Jetta and I did not go to look at him. The balloon basket landed safely. Hanley and his men were down there in time to seize it. Hans was caught, and Gutierrez, within the sack, was found to be uninjured. They are incarcerated now in Narita. They were willing to tell the location of the bandit stronghold. A raid there the following day resulted in the capture of most of De Beer's men. All this is now public news. You have heard it, of course. Yet in my narrative, setting down the events as I live them, I have tried to give more vivid details than the bare facts as they were blared through the public audiophones. An episode of the strange, romantic, fantastic lowlands. A very unimportant series of incidents mingled with the news of a busy world. Just a few minutes of the newscaster's time to tell how a band of depth smugglers was caught. But it was a very important episode to me. It changed for me a clanking, thrumming machine-made world into a shining fairyland of dreams come true. It gave me little Jetta. End of chapter 19 Recording by Richard Kilmer, Real Medina, Texas End of Jetta of the Lowlands by Ray Cummings.